You're watching Channel 4. Today we've two films in our Laundry and Gilead season. Later tonight we present I See a Dark Stranger. But first, a vintage British drama, Millions Like Us, which is introduced now by Sidney and Frank. Millions Like Us, this film was uh, commissioned, as you remember, by the Ministry of Information. We were summoned up there and asked to do a film to cover the whole of the British war effort on the home front, mm. everything that was going on. And to that end, we hired a, a Morris Eight and uh, succeeded brilliantly in, in penetrating Britain's coastal defences and arriving at Dover without a pass and being nearly flung in jail. And then we went all round the country and we simply uh, saw everything we could say, could see, and uh, uh, in the end, of course... Factories, docks, everything. land armies, everything. We but we had to narrow it down to, in yeah. the end, to mm -hmm. one girl and a family and mm -hmm. then a group mm -hmm. of girls in, who were conscripted mm -hmm. into the, the, the really, virtually the, the biggest factory in England, which was at Castle Bromwich, an aircraft That's factory. Right. The biggest machine shop floor in the world, they said. That's right, we had a cast of thousands there. Yes. I remember the management saying we were worried about whether we would interfere with the war effort, and they said, no, 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 they'll work twice as hard as they think they're going to be in the film. Yes. I think that wore off after a week or two. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we went there and we shot, and of course we were shooting for the first time. It was our first triple job, writing uh, directing and uh, yeah, producing. So well, we didn't produce. Co-direction, you see. We were, we were co-directors, which is it's not the most satisfactory way of directing a film. No because, one is apt to... Well, when you go into a huddle and discuss something, the actors are apt to lose confidence. Yes, because every actor thinks you're talking about him or her. <laughs> it doesn't occur to him they might be saying, uh, you know, um, what, what, what does the cameraman think yeah. or something. Like that. So it must be about them. And so a terrible sense of insecurity yeah. went through the whole cast. Particularly with Eric Portman, yes. who, who went to, the, to Edward Black and said, the producer, and said, uh, I'm worried about this, but uh, Black said he'd seen the rushes and uh, he was very happy about it. So afterwards, uh, Eric became very, very, very pro us. He was all right. He was very confident later on. No, you know, Gordon, Gordon Jackson, Gordon Jackson, who was then a young Scot in his teens, mm. He played a, a tail gunner in the Air Force. I think people looking at him in this picture wouldn't ever envisage that he'd be the Hudson of upstairs and downstairs, looking after a family over several no, decades no, in the most no, stately no. manner, because at that time he was very inexperienced. Mm. But that was a film that, you know, we found moving, I think. We tried to uh, make it about simple, ordinary people. Sometimes they came out uh, a little too simple, almost soppy, I think. But, of course, there were no working-class actors that weren't yeah. comic reliefs in those days. You had to mm. get people who were not working-class to pay, to play working-class people. It was the one prestige film we ever made, I think. I don't think we ever made that mistake again. What, making a prestige film? 